Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another interview. And today I'm here with Sean Bruce. Sean, how are we feeling, man? Good, mate. Buzzing, buzzing. Yeah. You know, after a great victory, how are you feeling after the victory? Do you know what? I, I, I feel good. I feel very, very good. Um, that's the strongest I've felt in a fight. Um, I felt in control. I felt dominant. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like there was there was nothing that he could do that could phase me. Do you know what I mean? I felt, I felt like a beast in there tonight. So. Now it's just a case of building on it. Just keep building on it, build them to the six rounders, the eight rounders, and then we'll just push on from there and keep getting better. That's the plan. Indeed, and now this is your second professional fight, am I right in saying? And so now that you, this, you've gone past the debut, and now this is the second one, would you say you were more confident and them nerves weren't there like you might have been in the debut? Yeah, 100%. Like, the, for me, the debut was just like, pre-debut, pre it felt like a, such a big mountain to climb, and then I got there and it was like, oh shit, okay, what's next? And then this fight for me was about going through the gears and showing people my power and my speed and I feel like we did that tonight you know I feel like now it's just the case like I say just just keep getting better and 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 using that as fuel for the next one you know what I'm saying Indeed, and you did look very fast you did look very strong and is that all just the perfect game plan for you then definitely definitely like I say I just want to there's a lot of things in there that we did that I need to work on I know that I know that but I know with the team around me that I've got, with the, with the knowledge I'm getting every week, week in, week out, and then the hard work I'm putting in, we'll have no problems, man. No problems. And, I mean, you were throwing big shots, you were getting big shots thrown back at you. And so would you say that your chin has been tested a little bit in that one? Yeah, 100%. It, there was a few big shots you threw in there, and I thought, mm, OK. Uh, you know, I had to think about it. Um, but, yeah, I just feel like... I think it came out in the first round, and... He wanted it, do you know what I mean? He wanted to win, and then we, we caught him with a few, and then I could see in his face he didn't want to know, do you know what I mean, after that point. But to be fair to him, he, 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 he gave it a good go. You know, he came, and I think it was the end of the, end of the fourth, we were stood there and we were swinging out a bit, which I probably shouldn't get involved in, but I can't help it. Um, I like the fight, so. But yeah, no, it was a good, good test, and uh, yeah, 2 0, oh, onwards and upwards, man. Indeed, and now you're with Carl Greaves, and things are looking good in the future for you, and so. By the end of this year, where would you like to be? Sorry, mate. Sorry. By the end of this year, where would you like to be? So, end of this year, mate, I want to be done my six rounders. I want to be ready to go again. I want to be, I want to be in line for a title fight. I'm ready for it. Whether it's super fly or fly, you know what I mean. I feel like there'll be, there's no one in the country that can match my power at super fly or fly. I, I genuinely believe that. I've got the best team around me, best knowledge. And I just feel like, yeah, every fight we're just going to get better and better, man. Better. You look at me from my debut to now. You know, it's a completely different fight. Their own corner said that, you know what I mean? They said, that, oh, he don't look anything like his debut. You know what I mean? A guy from the British Boxing Board of Control was like, he's going to get schooled to get fights. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for the step ups. I'm ready for the big nights. So, yeah, onwards and onwards, man. Definitely. And what would you like to say to the fans that have come out to see you tonight? Honestly, can't thank them enough. Can't thank them enough. Like, you know, I mean, me and Ty were talking earlier, and it's like at, at this level, without ticket sales, without sponsors getting on board, it, it won't be possible. You know, so it's it means everything. It means everything. Without them, you know, what I mean, it, it, I couldn't I couldn't fulfill my dream and didn't do this and have nights like this. So, yeah, I'm just grateful, man. Grateful. Great. Okay, great. Thank you very much, mate.